Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge. But our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. Reave the females safe. We can worry about curing the rest of your people later. You're not backing out, Turian. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. It's non-negotiable. Every Krogan gets the cure or Palavin burns. Morton, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. I'll give you one. <laughs> The cure starts with me. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. I would anyway. Nobody's touching my female. Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Then get started, Morton. And make it quick. Always do. We'll be in medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. When you're finished with Turian problems, Shepard, we need to talk. About what? A squad of mine went missing. I can give you the details... in private. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Commander? You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help and understanding. Your men that crashed on Tachanka, how many are there? 
a platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The Commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. The Salarian Dalatras was worried about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers, but I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. We had no choice. The Genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. The Krogan will make sure that doesn't happen. Assuming you're successful with the cure. We will be. You have to be, Commander. I don't want to go down as history's last Primarch. That's all. Of course, Commander. Cerberus activity on Tachunka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. Flight Dr. Morden Solis is a master geneticist and former operative for the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Dr. Solis is well known for his work in perpetuating the genophage a biological weapon that almost completely sterilized the Krogan species. He eventually left the STG to open a clinic on Omega, where his combat skills kept the clinic safe and operational amid Omega's lawless society. In 2185, Commander Shepard recruited Dr. Solis to research the Collectors and the Reapers. He was a member of the Normandy crew that traveled beyond the Omega-4 relay to attack the Collectors. He survived the mission, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Alternating between large oceans and land masses covered in flora, the Salarian homeworld, Circesh, is known for its humid climate and lush vegetation. As with the rainforests that once covered Earth, the planet's many forests enjoy a rich biodiversity. The Solarian desire for intellectual stimulation drove them long ago to explore every aspect of their environment, developing ways to thrive without consequences detrimental to their habitat. The areas near major cities and industrial centers are meticulously maintained, with an eye towards ensuring that sunlight penetrates to the ground level, and that established paths through the jungle are kept clear for travel. Burn grass, a soil enriching and adaptable weed native to Sirkesh, has become a major export because of its value for terraforming. The Mars archives describe a super weapon that the Alliance has named the Crucible, which exploits the technology of Mass Effect relays. Beyond the basic principles, however, researchers know little about how the weapon actually works. 
One popular theory suggests that since relays can transfer matter and energy across the galaxy with little regard for distance, it may be possible to create a weapon for which range is barely a factor. Duplicating the advanced science used to build the relays has proven difficult, however. If the crucible were completed, the challenge would become tuning the weapon to kill a reaper halfway across the galaxy without inflicting unthinkable levels of collateral damage. What is clear is that the Crucible's construction is a massive effort, drawing resources from throughout explored space. Staggering financial costs have been disregarded in the common effort to create something, anything, that can stop the Reapers. Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Get in there and stop them. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. We'll get it done. See to it. Hack it out. Looks like Cerberus got that cannon operational, Commander. I'll go back up, get a read on what they're shooting at. Get on it. All right. Let's find the control room for those cannons. Kill anything in our way. Right behind you, Shepard. Control center secure. Then I think it's time to test this cannon.
Not the kind of Krogan relic I expected to find. They cut power to the console. You'll need to get the power back on. Let's move. They're shutting in reinforcements, fortifying their position.
I've rerouted the power to the main console. Heading back now.
Cruiser initiating bombardment. Cannon control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Uploaded. Firing. Direct starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. You did it. All right. Good work, everyone.